getting the clear sign. Hodgson from pole position. Can he do it again? Oh, looked like a little bit of a jump start from Troy Bayless, who seemed to go early. We'll wait and get the nod, but it's definitely Bayless who comes into paddock. Then it's Frankie Keeley on the inside. Hodgson Walker goes out wide. Oh, and they're down. Hudson. Hodgson is Hodgson in the middle of that. Definitely Hislop is in there. It looks like a Ducati rider as well. Can't see. And it's Colin Edwards. The championship leader is down, and Noriyuki Haga as well. Haga, Hislop and Edwards. Well, it's Hislop that's laid on the floor, and we can see him there. And the marshals are in attendance, but it wouldn't surprise me at all if we don't get a uh, red flag situation here, because that is at Paddock Ben, and I can't see them clearing it up. And as I imagined, I saw the red flag, so the race has certainly been stopped, and the grid will reform. In fact, the riders will go back down pit lane. Colin Edwards can't believe what happened nor can Noriyuki Haga. Red flag situation, wow. What a start. Bayless seemed to go early. We'll wait for a, an adjudication on that. And then that terrible incident at Paddock Hill Bend. Here's a replay, Roger, talk us through. Well, what happened, Bayless seemed to catch everyone out because he jumped the start, and I think he would have been penalised for that. And then in the next shot we see when we get to the approach to Paddock Bend, and this is a 90 mile an hour corner. Chris Walker's coming round the outside, Neil Hodgson there's on the inside. Hodgson goes, tries to go up the inside and has to pick the bike up, and that causes um, the problem, and that scatters everyone down. And you can see the Yamaha of Steve Hislop um, bouncing along there, and Steve Hislop uh, jumping through the gravel. And I think Steve Hislop took a knock on the head there, and we'll bring you information on him just as soon as we can. Well, the paramedics obviously are in attendance as Harger's bike and Edward's bike needs to be dragged out of the gravel trap. And that was a very, very nasty looking incident. The riders returned to the pits. Steve Hislop appeared to be unconscious as he was tumbling through that gravel trap on the outside to paddock. Not the start that we were looking for. And certainly the paramedics, they have been brilliant. Unfortunately, we've had a few falls this weekend in, in the other category as well, the super sport category. The paramedics and the marshals have been on the spot so fast this weekend and we have brilliant med medical facilities here at Brands Hatch and definitely Steve Hislop is in the best hands. Here's Hodgson who was right in the middle of that incident and it was a little bit hard to see because of the rear camera angle but he was certainly in there in the middle with these two guys. Harger was coming through, charging through and Edwards was there and Hislop was alongside. And those two bikes there are two of the bikes belonging to the riders in the top three in the championship. It's very unusual for an incident of this type to happen on the first corner because generally speaking the riders realize that it's a 25 lap race distance and you don't win the race on the first lap you win it on the last lap so they're all professionals and they tend to um, file around the corners even look though it looks very spectacular for the spectators and the viewers then they do know what they're doing and let's not forget that these bikes are not fitted with rear view mirrors so they can only see what's happening ahead of them um, and in that instance Nobody knows who's leaning on who, and by that I mean laying the bike over on top of each other, because that's pretty much how they've got to do to file round through the corners. And Troy Bailey's there, the man that we anticipate that probably jumped the start, that kind of got everybody a little bit rattled, perhaps, as they left the grid. They were wondering if the, 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 they would be called back because of a jump start, um, and then, obviously, the incident happened down there at the bottom of Paddock Bend. It's... Um, not a good place um, for an incident to happen because as you can see that the track comes downhill and they then they go off so when you fall off going downhill you obviously gather momentum but Norrie Harger is obviously okay and Colin Edwards obviously okay and the paramedics there still attending to Steve Hislop. Here's a replay again watch the inside here Hislop is in the fluoro yellow helmet on the red Yamaha Edwards is on the inside and so too is Hodgson you can see Hodgson stands up there lifts the bike and down goes Edwards and Harger had nowhere to go. Hislop, Hislop went down with Edwards, and this is where it gets nasty for Hizzy. Tumbling through the gravel trap, and Harger had nowhere to go. He was immediately behind that, and John Reynolds, you can see on the left of screen there, he was tangled up in that as well. 